ഹലോ റെഡി വൺ വെൽക്കം ടു അവർ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ അഗ്രി എഡി ഐ എം നൈമിഷ ഐസ ജേനർ ഫസ്റ്റ് ആൾക്കർ ഇൻ ദ സബ്ജെക്ട് ടൂ ഓഫ് ഫിസിക്കൽ സയൻസസ് ആൻഡ് കറൻറ്റ്ലി എം എസ് സി റിസർച്ച് കോളർ ഇൻ ദ ഡിവിഷൻ ഓഫ് സോയിൽ സയൻസ് ആൻഡ് അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ കെമിസ്ട്രി ഐ സി ആർ ഐ ആർ ഐ ന്യൂഡൽഹി ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഹിയർ ഐ എം ഹിയർ ടു ഡിസ്കസ് ദ ടോപ്പിക് ദറ്റ് ഈസ് സോയിൽ ഫോർമിംഗ് ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ആസ് വി കെൻ സി ദ ഫോർമേഷൻ ഓഫ് സോയിൽ ഈസ് ക്വൈറ്റ് എ വെരി സ്ലോ പ്രോസസ് and it requires for many thousands of years to form 1 cm of the soil so how the soil is formed like what are the factors influencing this soil formation is also very important when we see the pedological aspects of the soil so let's discuss about the few factors in associated with it according to jenny in may 1941 he gave the five factors that are most important and are influencing the soil in different ways these five factors include climate organism relief terrain material and time now uh, what jenny told is uh, the soil formation is a function of five factors that is climate organisms or vegetation which are collectively called as biosphere and then relief or topography followed by terrain material and then time so jenny just gave five factors which are influencing the soil later on what happened after the nearly 8 years that is in 1949 joffy came and what he uh, told is these five factors can be divided in again into two types that is active and also passive so these active factors are relying on the energy as we can see uh, active process and passive process in plants also nutrient uptake mechanism active process are associated with uh, intake of energy or expenditure of energy passive factors are involved with just mass so among the five factors given by jenny um, biota that is biosphere and also climate in comes under active factor and remaining factors like topography terrain material and time constitute the passive factors according to joffy so these two are important like jenny gave just five factors of soil formation these five are in turn classified into three passive and two active factors by joffy next next one is the climate the most important factor that is influencing the soil formation climate in the ter- precipitation and temperature play a crucial role or uh, if we see precipitation first one is leaching when we say the term leaching uh both extent distribution and also the pattern of rainfall will influence leaching down of water and nutrients from the soil Uh, the most important things to consider here is leaching valve a uh, leaching valve it is nothing but leaching valve is nothing but ratio of sum of na to o and k to o and bases to the am to o3 to understand the interpretation of this ratio the first we should be clear about this what is ratio if it takes out soil surface and when there is a rate for the integration onto it the bases and silica will get leached away along with the water then after the removal of those the soils will remain acidic and form oxides of iron and mineral so this is the basic process that is occurring this so leaching value if we see this is the formula and here what is given leaching value will decrease from arid tropic and regions so in tropical region what we have the main fall is more in arid regions the rain fall is less so when it is more rain fall more silica will get leached away so aluminum will be deposited more so this denominator will be increased compared to numerator so leaching value will be low in tropical regions in case of arid regions rain fall is less so leaching of bases and silica is less so deposition of iron and aluminum oxide is also less when denominator is less than numerator leaching value will be more in case of arid is it is given here the state when leaching value decreases from arid to tropical region that means in other sense what we can say arid regions have high leaching values compared to tropical regions so in this way you have to do the leaching value silica sesquioxide ratio 
And next is silicon sesquia oxide ratio. It will be more in case of area temperature thinking due to less same one compared to the tropic and dunes. Next means climatic water balance. It is nothing but the difference between uh, gain and loss of water entering into the soil profile. And actually profile developing how the water uh, impacts the development of soil profile. The tree skin plates will be found in case of hilly slopes, fruit erosion, or like that. Next formation of calcium carbonate layer, where it forms in case of arid regions. Due to less leaching down of uh, calcium carbonate, it will fall as a medium. It is referred to as calcium. Key film. Next thing is the temperature. How temperature will influence soil formation? It is the second most important element of climate. It influences the formation of soil. Uh, high temperature, it will hinder the nature and causes the upward moment of soluble cells. It is an intermix factor as saline elation. It is one of the soil flower process which we will see later. And also as altitude increases, the temperature will be decreased. Some of the soil properties should be affected by the temperature into depth of weathering. That means in case of harm clearing up, that most temperate tables, better in winter, more due to more temperature and cold thaw. And when there is more temperature and more decomposition of organic factors, so more in loss will be taken for the soil. Clay content will be increased as the temperature being for entering the rain, it is more weathery of rock. In silica, the skirt says ratio, when we see epicvansion, high moisture, the ratio of the silica and sesquia oxide will get decreased from temperature. Increase. Next is soil color. Soil color, how we do we name soils? The soil color will be definitely influenced with the parent material. But with increase in the age, followed by increase in the temperature and increase in zone fall, soils will be darker in color. But in soils is indeed lighter in color. So these are the Precipitation and temperature factors influencing the soil formation. So, the next factor is organism and vegetation. This is collectively called as biosphere. It is an active factor influencing the formation of soil. So, when we see the organisms, this role of microorganisms is related to humification and mineralization of vegetation. That means, humification is nothing but a soil forming process, one of the fundamental soil forming process. That is involving the formation of humus from organic matter. And the next is the action of animals, especially the burrowing animals, to dig and mix up the soil mass and then disturb the parent material. The burrowing animals like ethorns, rodents, etc. What they will do in the region soil. So uh, these termites or ethorns, what in they will uh, make galleries like this in the soil, zigzag ways. They won't do it intentionally, but in the search for food and also they roaming in the soil, they will make paths like this. And so what will happen here? Parent material will get disturbed and there will also be mixing of soil horizons like upper horizons to lower like that. So these action of burrowing animals will disturb the parent material. Next is compaction by traffic of for man and animal. It decreases the rate of water acceleration and also there will increase the rate of erosion and runoff. This when there is heavy load on the soil, it will form a hard layer on the soil surface so that the pores will get blocked. So whatever water is pouring onto the soil surface, it won't get released down. Instead, it will flow like this. It is nothing but runoff and erosion. The organisms including fungi, bacteria, animals, humans and vegetation and the major determinants and the impact on the physical and chemical environment of soil. Microorganisms encourage acidic conditions which change the soil chemistry and eventually determine the kind of soil formation process that occur. That means fungi and also they generate acidic conditions in the soil with the separation of organic acids and all and this also in turn changes the soil chemistry and uh, eventually determine the formation that will occur in the soil. One microbial activities also decompose organic matter and recycle them in the soil. Larger animals, including burrowing animals and earthworms, they mix the soil and alter its physical 
characteristic as we saw earlier in this case. Next is vegetation. The plant roots penetrate into the paving material and act both mechanically and chemically. Plant roots secrete some exudates or secretions and these will change chemical changes in case of solid and non thin plant. Mechanically, what they will do? The roots will press on the soil surface or any rocks or bed material and it will disintegrate in structure. And next is the facilitate the percolation and drainage and bring in greater dissolution of minerals through action of CO2 and acidic uh, substances secreted by them. Soils found in the forests are more weathered because the forests grow in the high rainfall area. So the organic matter and all will be easily decomposed. More weathering will be due to high rainfall and temperature compared to the grasslands. Grasses, what they will do, they will, even the more rainfall is there, grasses will be covering the soil surface like very compact nature. This is the grassland region. If you see forest, they will space it differently. So, whenever same intensity of rain is there in water cases, the nutrients and water gets leaks out from the forest area very easily. Whereas grasses, they will intercept this uh, water and decrease the leaching losses. So, the next factor is So uh, our next factor in the soil formation is parent material. Parent material, what does it indicate? It is the material that soil develops from and maybe a rock that has decomposed in place or material that has been deposited by wind, water or ice or it is that mass from which the soil has formed. This is the simplest definition. It is the mass from which the soil was formed. Parent, parent is add sister kind of. So it is the mass consolidated material from which the soil has formed. Mainly there are two groups of parent material. One is sedentary and another is type. Sedentary means in place, like it is formed with the original place. That means it is residual parent material. It is important. Next is transported. This parent material transported from their place of origin. And these are named according to the main force responsible for the transport and removal redeposition of the substance. Some of the examples include colloidium, alluvium, lacustrine, moraine, loess, or any. The colloidium kind of parameter, when we will tell this term, if the transport and deposition takes place due to gravity. Alluvium means due to water. Lacustrine due to lake. Moraine due to ice. Till or moraine. Moraine, it can also be referred to as till. Loess are relevant due to sand. So, these are very important in terms of a GRF. Uh, many matchings can be asked with these uh, examples and definitions. Be thorough with them. And next is parent material also influences the profile development and produces different soil in the initial stages. This is the important statement we can encounter in this whole topic. That is, parent material will influence the profile development for sure and it also produces different soil in the initial stages. Why it is given in initial stages? Because with the passage of time, the influence of parent material, influence of parent material will get diminished due to increasing influence of other factors affecting the soil formation. For example, if we take acid igneous rock like granite or rhyolite, they will produce light textured portolic soils, which can be classified under alpha zones. And when we see basic igneous of a basalt and all, they will produce vertigons. And basic alluvium or alien materials may produce fine to coarse structure soils that is antisols or inceptisols. So, this parent materials influences the profile of long. And also, in initial stages when we see, it produces different kind of soil. And the next factor is leaf or topography. Both denotes the configuration of land surfaces, but there is a minor difference in case of relief and topography. Both refer to the aspect of configuration of land surface, but 
This relief when we tell when we tell this term relief, it is confined to the uh, very small areas. That is, it is localized point of view when we talk about the aspect. It will include relief. If we consider broad term, broad aspects of topography, uh, broad aspects of configuration, it will include topography. So, what it will mean by uh, when we say the term localized, it will also encompasses in it some of the other features like drainage, parent material, etc. But in case of topography, these minute things won't be considered. So, this should be kept in mind when we talk about the other differences in terms of Katina topo sequence that we see later. Uh, the important effects of this topography include water movement. What does this water movement need if we take a hill slope? like this the rain that is falling on the top of the slope it will easily get transported down compared to the flat area in flat area what can it move like this no in flat area it will get infiltrated right down the place where it got deposited and if we take vegetation Vegetation also, we can find a varied vegetation in case of down slope compared to the uphill because this movement of water also carries with it many fertile nutrients uh, along with it. So the nutrients are depleted away, very few vegetation can be found on the, on the upper slopes compared to down slope. In, if we take a flat area, the vegetation will be uh, pretty good compared to these hilly regions. Next, soil color. Same reason varies uh, uh, here. Soil color due to leaching or substantial some soft food down. The uh, when something is leaches so what it will look like? Light in color compared to downside because the materials that are transported from here gets deposited here, so it will be darker in color compared to light light color in the upper slopes. Next soil erosion with the increase in slope, like if we have uh, a land surface like this and we have a land surface like this this has more slope this has less slope so erosion will be more in case of this area compared to this side due to high slope or topography next there are two terms that i'm going to discuss now these are very important like topo sequence and catena so, uh, if we talk about any sequence like in the year 1935 Mingne gave this term Ketina. Ketina, it is a Latin word, means uh, chain like. What is chain like? Soils which are topographically related. Listen carefully. It is topographically related soils, but they differ in relief, drainage, parent material, etc. Well, material also need not be different, it can also be same. But uh, these local hydrological conditions will get differed when two groups of soil, it is referred to as Ketina. It is given by scientist Milne in the year 1935. These are very important, Milne in the year 1935. And Ketina means chain like. Topographically related and uh, difference in this uh, drainage is given here. And next is topo sequence. Topo sequence, climo sequence, clino sequence. We uh, we used to hear that the many terms related to this. Topo sequence is the sequence of soils which are differing in the topography. It is simple. It was given by Bushnell in year 1942. But the difference is here. Milne consider hill slope erosion and sedimentation basically. But Bushnell just uh, gave the term topo sequence just related to this uh, topography. These two are very important. And next one is time. This is the last factor, but our most important factor influencing the soil formation. Soil formation, as we know, is a very slow process requiring thousands of years to develop a mature bedon. Bedon is a small volume of soil. Well, I didn't the period taken by a given soil from the stage of Weather drop that is initial regolith to the stage of maturity, that means mature soil, is considered as time. This definition is very important. And next one is time that the nature devotes to the formation of soil. Time that the nature devotes to the formation of soil is pedologic time. 
பி கிளியர் இன் டேர்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் டூ டெஃபினேஷன்ஸ் டைமு பெடலாஜிக் டைம் அந்த டூ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் சாயில் அக்கார்டிங் கிளாஸ்ஃபைட் அக்கார்டிங் டூ டைம் மோனோஜெனிட்டிக் சாயில்ஸ் அண்ட் போலோஜெனிட்டிக் பாலிஜெனிட்டிக் சாயில் மோனோஜெனிட்டிக் மீன்ஸ் சாயில்ஸ் இஸ் த ஃபார்ம் அந்த செட் ஒன் செட் ஆஃப் ஃபேக்டர் வேல்யூஸ் ஃபார் இ சர்டைன் பீரியட் ஆஃப் டைம் பாலிஜெனிட்டிக் மீன்ஸ் தட் ஆர் ஃபார்ம்ட் அண்டர் மோர் தேன் ஒன் செட் ஆஃப் ஃபேக்டர் பிகாஸ் மோர் தென் ஒன் செட் ஆஃப் ஃபேக்டர் இஸ் இன்ஃப்ளூயன்சிங் திஸ் ஃபார் டைப் ஆஃப் சாயில்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் ஆர் ரிஃபர் டு திஸ் பாலிஜெனிட்டிக் சாயில் and next is the this table is more important each and every line and word of this table is very important starting from here to here i am telling it again it is very important uh weathering stages in soil formation given by more and than varan in the year 1954 there are five stages initial juvenile virile senile and final stage initial stage uh, the characteristic associated with each stage is very important like in initial stage the much of the parent material will remain unweathered the thing has not started here in the initial stage this is first feature next juvenile stage juvenile means somewhat uh, growing up like weathering is started but much of the original material is still unweathered and next is virile stage this is medium that means easily weatherable materials are favorably decomposed clay content is increased this is most important bit we can encounter here and in slowly weatherable minerals still appreciable Next is senile phase. Decomposition reaches final stage almost. Only the most resistant minerals like quartz or anything will survive. Next is final stage. Final stage means development of soil is accomplished under the very environment. These five stages are given by more and one baron in the year 1954. And each of the stage and the associated characteristic is very important in terms of the time factor. So guys, these are the various uh, that means five factors influencing the soil development and consequent soil forming processes so in detail session of this uh, topic can be uh, seen in case of our live sessions and all in case of any queries please contact feel free to contact us at the given number or else comment down here and subscribe to our channel agree edit and take live classes and let us start this uh, icr jrf 2020 224 examination with a good rank thank you thank you anand